Alrighty, how to play Morgan Le Fay. Now I'm gonna go with the standard build, but with Book of the Dead this time around, because what I've been doing is I've been running Book of Thoth a lot as a meme to do shit, but like, whatever. I'm gonna run Gem of Focus, Chronos Pendant, Soul Gem for the burst damage, Spear of Deso for flat pen. Then you're gonna run Book of Dead and Soul Reaver for uh, percentage damage. And you're gonna build her abilities quite simply, just like this. You're gonna buy three, two, go one, alt, one, one, three, one, alt, two, th or three, three, alt, three, two, two, alt, two, two, alt. Build it like this because it builds it better and all that. This is my whatever, don't care. But <coughs> I have absorb all five because that's easy, doing it five times it's not. Um, doing <coughs> skins, I have doing skins, I have Let's Crimson Magus. The world in crimson. I got this one because this one is dope as fuck. Morgan Le Fay. And then just look over all of them real quick. I don't like this one, this one's bad. Gold's not bad. Legendary's pretty solid, but Diamond looks pretty cool too. Uh, then, got her rank 5. Abilities, you're gonna use her 1. You're mainly gonna use the 1 of her 1, her fear, instead of anything else usually, because it's free CC. Then you're gonna go in with the circle for mobility and tick damage. Then you're gonna go straight in with your uh, dragon and knock them up and keep them from moving away from you. Then you could ult if you want and just kill them from there. And then, let's go this way. Get into a custom match with her. This battlefield is scarred with brutality and torment. A fitting location for my ritual magics. Minions have spawned. Get the bolt the relics, cause why not? Uh yeah, you're gonna go gem of focus though. Crafted by a tortured soul. Now having more mana wouldn't be good for this build, but there's really no point, so. this off. So you just basically get this guy and you can basic attack and kill. But if you really want to, you can stack them up. Let's say you're going against a Ymir. You can stack them up like this. Get away a couple more seconds for the next mobility, it's whatever. But yeah, if you stack them up like this, you mainly will never get it because you will 99% of the time just kill. But let's see if I can get it. I need one more. Come on. Try and get all the stacks off so I can show it off a little bit. Twisted magic. Oh, there we go. Got it all. So it doesn't more damage. It's more like range damage after that. Yeah. This is a lot of burst damage, is basically what that is. But there's another build I was using, which involves not running any pen, actually. It involves running... Where is it? This artifact has taken much and then life. running... Let's uh, help it take it? some more. I can't remember what they are. So you have a spare when you play like this, like a spare slot. I can't remember what, it, what I ran. Um, we have Book of Thoth, and then we ran the last item being a... You could run Pen, or you could go a no Pen build and run Divine Ruin, or... Uh, what was it? It was another item that I ran beside... Oh yeah, Bane Crafted Bane by a tortured soul. And Lifesteal. Perfect. And you can just go over here. Now you, my power skyrocketed, of course, because that's what happens when you go to this character, this type of build. Your power's gonna get higher. And your damage output could be pretty solid. But as you can see, it does take one more basic to kill with this build, even though I have more power. Simply because mana, doing it this way, yes, it gives me more shield. With Book of the Dead, Book of the Dead is just a solid item I have. 
so. Keep approaching. My thirst for death has not been sated. Uh, let's try it on this. So if I do it, please this, me. This. Feed my call. I right, have a couple seconds. You can see the difference as I do this. Well, not really, because I hit him with the center, but yeah. Basically, this build, yes, has more damage output. Or can have more burst damage output like that, but the problem is, is you're sacrificing, uh... All of your pen. You have zero across the board. You could replace this, however, with... This Obsidian, artifact has taken or much Divine Rune, depending on what you need. Let's hope it takes some more. It's still a good build, it's just like, you have to travel with your So yeah, I prefer the other build over this one though, because this one's solid, it's just, it's kind of meme because you don't get more HP, whereas if you go this build, you do get a little bit more extra HP, which does Perfect. help, in general, vers like, versing other squishies. Because it makes it where they have to be basic with crit, or at least another ability, uh, ability based. Oh, yeah. is indescribable. So I think that's pretty much how you would play Morgan Le Fay. There is another build that I do want to show off though, it's her tank build. Since she is ability based, her tank build would basically just be, um... You could go animosity for basics, but since you don't want to... Ability based would be more of... I think this is hybrid and the ability based is something else, where is it? Ability base, you'd go with like amulet. Yeah, this amulet. artifact has taken much life. You'd go with. Let's hope um, it takes some more. Breastplate for cooldown. Twenty percent. Shogun's attack speed cooldown. Mantle. These are the core ones. Mantle you can build a bit later though, but these are the core. And everything past this is all just straight. You'll build gauntlet earlier on, before you build breastplate, and then you build a. Uh, since you're hybrid, you could build a fucking health bar item after this. Like, Ethereal or this one. I think Gem Viso would be the best though. Crafted by a tortured soul. That way, if you go to item Perfect. stash like this. I'm pretty sure. What is my defensive been like? It should be. Yeah, 289. That's cool. 308. Yeah, so I, you could run this as your build, but you could also sell this item and run... Where is it? Uh... This one is uh, A step towards my perfect Which gives form. you more physical defense, but it also does that burst damage. Actually, I need to change this because it's not going to work with this guy. But yeah, no, you still have max cooldown, you have all that shit, and your ability is... base damage out so yeah, that's how you play him in Morgan the Fey in either tank or EPS.